Hey ladies, what's up? It's Nikki D, your trainer from Being Fat Sucks. Today we're gonna do a chest workout that's gonna help enhance and lift your breast naturally. I have an awesome chest workout that is definitely gonna help you lift your breasts as well as enhance them. What you wanna do is you wanna think about how chest muscles are structured. Basically, you have three different muscles in there. You have the lower, you have the mid, and then you have the upper. As far as I'm concerned, you don't even have to work your upper chest muscles at all, okay? Basically, you really want to focus on the lower as well as the mid because that's what's going to help enhance your breasts and lift them. The stronger I am down here, the higher my breasts will be, and that'll make me feel good about myself. We're gonna start off with decline chest press. We're gonna do three sets, about 10 to 12 reps, and we're gonna rest for 30 seconds in between each set. Grab a weight that you're comfortable with, and let's do this. And we're gonna sit down on the bench, and just literally make sure that our arms, okay, are parallel to the floor, not beyond parallel or above parallel, but strictly parallel, and just come up to the top, nice and easy. And you wanna inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. So down and up. I also like to make sure that my arms are not completely straight like this, because that puts too much pressure on the elbows. So it's just literally down and up, just like that. Two seconds down, two seconds up. And two seconds down, two seconds up. We want to get about 10 reps, okay? We want to use a weight that really allows us to feel like we're doing something. So for me, that's not 10 pounds, but for you, just be mindful of how you do these exercises and lifting your body in a way that makes it really, really functional, okay? And what I want to do is after this set, I'm just going to lift up a wee bit, put my weights down right here, and then I want to just stretch out my chest. I want to do this just by opening up my chest and hanging my arms and it feels so good afterwards. On the second set, I'm going to hit another 10 pounds and just hammer it out, beautiful form, getting my body ready once again for heavier weights. So what I want to do again is grab my weight and make sure I come down to parallel and back up, just like that, just like that. <sighs> Exhaling on the way up and three, <sighs> good. Exhale on the way up for four. Good. And you always kind of want to flex right there at the top. Five and hold for six. I'm going to get four more. Good. Four. Good. Three. Awesome. And two. Good. And one. I'm motivating myself. Hopefully I'm motivating you guys. On the third set, I'm using 25 pounds. I'm gonna get as many as I can here, and I'm sure I can probably at this point only get about 10, so let's see what happens. Grab, you know, a weight that you feel comfortable with, and you wanna make sure that you have them on your legs like this, because it's a little heavy, all right? And then when you come in, you just kinda of bring it right here, and here, just to parallel, and then exhaling on the way up. So it's one, two, just like that. And three, good. For four, good. And five, let's see if I can get a few more of these. Good. And last one, I should struggle on the last one, perfect. The next exercise I have planned for you is a flat dumbbell press. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten out our bench and just lay on it, grab our 10 pound weights and we're gonna hit our chest again getting about 10 to 15 reps. Remember, we wanna be parallel to the ground, not beyond parallel or above parallel. Just start here and then exhale on the way up for one. Good, and just down and up for two. Hold it at the top for a second. Down slow for three. What I like to do is just bring it down almost in a count of two seconds and then up for four. So deep breath in on the way down and up. Five, nice and slow. Down, good. Six, good. Up. Seven, and then we're gonna get three more, and then take a little breather. Three, perfect. Good. Two. And last one. Good. And then just bring it down onto your legs, and come on up. What that does is it really protects your low back. All right? 
And then, like I said, for the stretch, just lay back and just relax. Open up your chest. And as you notice, I put my feet up like this on the bench. I do that because it takes pressure off my low back. When my legs are like this, my low back is up, and that doesn't feel good. So I love doing this, and I suggest that you guys try it too, okay? All right, set two. I'm gonna make mine a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna go with 20 pound weights, but you guys can try 15, and we're gonna get another set, all right? So get ready, grab your heavier weights, and lay it down, nice and easy, good, and Parallel to the ground and then exhale on the way up. Remember, we're building here, okay? Good. And up. Three with a breath because this is a little heavier. Nice for four. Good. And up. Five. Nice. Good. Six. Nice. One more for eight. Mmm. Did you guys see how my hand was kind of trembling at that time? That is a really important thing because that means that my muscles have gone to failure, that I'm decreasing the glycogen stores and that they are being torn apart just to be built back up stronger and better and firmer and sexier. All right, so stretching it out. This is also another stretch I love. Hands behind your head and just open up, just like that. I hold my stretches for about 30 seconds. I find this extremely effective. And I breathe. Because <sighs> I know I'm gonna get another one of those. I even sometimes switch out my shoulders because every time we're working our chest, we always work out our shoulders, okay? And they get real tight. So you can do a couple of these as well. And this is gonna be our third set. I'm gonna do the heavy weights again and I suggest that you guys do the same. So grab your 10 or 15 pound weights, whatever it is that's going to be a little bit challenging for you and help your chest to break down and develop. Good. So I'm going to start here and remember breathing on the way up. Good. Two. Exhaling on the way up for three. Good. Up. Nice. That's a good one. I love this. Good. And one more for eight. Ah, oh, see, I can't even get it, so that is a really good sign. That was my third and final set of this, and the next exercise that we have planned is a dip, all right? That's gonna really hit the decline muscle again. And you can just sit up, stretch it out, focus. I like to consider weightlifting kind of a movie meditation. It doesn't have to be this intense thing where, you know, we're like, I gotta go in there and grunt. It's just a relaxing, process where you're getting in touch with your body, you're breathing, you're stretching, and you're feeling good. For our third and final exercise, we're going to do dips. We're going to get about 10 to 15 reps, three sets. We're going to rest 30 seconds in between each set. Let's just sit at the edge of our bench, okay? Make sure that our hands are about shoulder width apart, all right? So if my hands are out here, I'm not really working the decline muscle in my pectoral, all right? And that's not really gonna be of much benefit to me. So what I wanna do is just make sure that basically my hands are right outside my hips. I'm gonna grab onto the bench. I always like to put my thumbs over. And then depending on how strong you are, you wanna make sure that your feet are either out to make it more challenging, okay? Or if you need a little breather at this point, you just bring your feet in. I also don't like to bring my butt real far out towards the bench. I almost like it to graze the bench on the way down. Okay, and I wanna make sure that my chin is parallel to the ground. So I'm not looking up like this. That puts unnecessary strain on our necks and backs. So it's just literally down and up. Good, and with these, I get a few more than 10. I actually get about 15 to 20. I just hammer them out. Good. So at home, just do as many as you can. And the bonus here <laughs> is that you're actually getting your triceps. And as for us ladies, no one wants hello arms. That we want to say goodbye to hello arms. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a good thing. Okay, so breathe. We're going to stretch it out. I also like to do this stretch, just, just putting my hand behind my back, just like that. 
and you breathe and you relax and you make it meditational as well as really, really effective, okay? And one more time. Let's get another one going, okay, ladies? So take a deep breath in. This one I'm gonna make a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna bring my feet out, okay? I'm gonna straighten them out, take a deep breath in, and then up. <sighs> Making sure the butt is kind of grazing the bench. Good, and this is gonna be a lot harder, so I'm not gonna be able to get about 20, right? Good. That's five. And up, <sighs> six. Good, seven. And up, eight. Awesome, that was really good. I hope you guys felt those, because I did, and it was amazing. Good, so we're just breathing it out. Then what we really want to do is, we want to stretch it out again, because those are really working the triceps. I love to do this, just put my hand behind my head, and just pull on it, just like that. And other side, you hold it 15, 20 seconds. It's ideal. I love stretching between sets. A lot of people don't do it, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference in recovery. And then we can hit the chest again tomorrow. Better results, or the next day. That might be a little bit to do, but hey, I'm ambitious. Last set, all right? So deep breath in, hand shoulder width apart, coming down to about parallel, and then exhaling on the way up. And down, up. Down slow, and up. Down slow for about two seconds and hold up. Good, we're gonna pump it out, get as many as we can on this last one, okay guys? Just don't even think about a number. Exhaling on the way up. I got about five more in me. Good, and four. Good, three, perfect. And last one, ah, oh, that one really, really hurt. Now with these workouts, it's not about toning or this and that and the other, even though you're gonna be toned. What this is about, it's really about building. So it's about heavier weights. It's also about more, less reps as opposed to more, okay? And it's about building that muscle so that it, it helps support our breast tissue. What that leads to is an awesome body, a greater sense of well-being, and a feeling of confidence. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout as much as I do. For optimal results, do that about two times a week, and I guarantee you, in about six to eight weeks, you will notice more supple, firm, and larger breasts.